it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about adding with regrouping. Now you might have noticed that up until now, the addition that we've been doing has been fairly simple. We're about to get a little bit more complicated, but it's not anything that you can't handle, okay? All right, take a look at this problem. On Monday, Alyssa earned $38 selling candy. On Tuesday, she earned $14 more. How much does she have in total? Let's take a look at what this looks like with actual dollars. Let's see, she earned $38, one, two, three, that would be three tens and eight ones. But then she earned $14, so another 10 and four ones. Let's rearrange this and see what we actually have for total. So as far as tens, we have one, two, three, four tens. And as far as ones, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm, that's a lot of money to walk around with. So what if Alyssa wanted to go to the banker and say, hey, I've got ten dollars in one dollar bills. Can I give you these one dollar bills? And you'll give me a ten dollar bill. So it'll look like this. We're gonna take these 10 and get a $10 bill in its place. Now we have five tens and two ones. What you just did there is called regrouping. Now, we don't always have to do it with actual money. We can do it with numbers on the board. Take a look. We have $38 and $14. Let's add them. So, we always start in the ones place. Eight plus four, and we get 12. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our two down. But remember, we took a 10, and we took 10 of the ones, and we handed it in, and we got a 10 in its place. So that's what we kinda are doing mentally. So for instead of writing that 10 down here, we're gonna write it up here, because it's now a $10 bill. And let's add it with the tens. We have one plus three is four, four plus one is five. And all we did is we regrouped our money, so we took some ones and exchanged it for a $10 bill. $52 is our answer. Let's try it again. This time, let's try it without dollars. So here we have 28 plus six. We always start with the ones place, right? Eight plus six is 14. So I'm gonna just write that 14 temporarily. But I wanna take 10 of my $1, turn it into the banker, and get a $10 bill in its place. It's the same thing as taking this one and bringing it over to the tens place. And now we add the tens. A one plus a two is three. There's nothing to add here. So our answer is 34. One last problem. Let's try 56 plus 27. We always start in what place? The ones place. Let's do it. Six plus seven. Six plus seven is 13. So what do we put down here? The three, and we take that 10 and bring it up to the top. And now we deal with the tens place. One plus five is six. Six plus two is eight. 83 is our answer. That's how you do addition with regrouping. Okay, now it's time for you to try it on your own. I've got a bunch of practice problems in the practice set. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.